Hello everyone, welcome back again. My name is Jesse and in this wonderful and exciting tutorial, we're trying to see how to use GPT-4 to be able to communicate and then chat with your private local documents, right? So in case you have some documents that is private, maybe copy documents that you don't want to expose to the internet, but you want to use the power of a large language model over those documents, there is this nice feature from GPT-4 called Local Docs Plugin that allows you to be able to chat with your private document, right? It can be TST, it can be PDF, it can be the docs. So let's see how to do that in this tutorial. So I'll just go back to my GPT for all installation, the local client that I have, and I've already have one of the models here, the one we have been using, you can pick any of them from the official website. And then when you come here, just go to the sidebar here and click on update to make sure that you are working on the most recent update if i go back here i'll just go to update component and next if there's an update it's going to show you that there's an update right but since i've already updated it it's not going to show me so i'll just click quit from here and i'll go to the settings tab and when i come back you see i have my local docs plugin beta so maybe in the future it's going to be a local docs plugin now when i click on this i can specify my collection so the collection is the location of the document that I want to interact with, right? So I'll just go back to my location. So if I come back here, right? So I have my AAC document here, which is about uh, access control, right? So I want to communicate with this document. So how do you do that? So I'll just copy this one here and I'll go to my collections LLM. There's already one here, but I want to show you this example. So this is my access control documents, right? This is PDF. It can be docs, it can be any of them, but it has to be all formatted. And then I'll just go back again to my model, right? To the client, GPT client, and I'll select the location. So browse to that particular location that we had. So desktop and I have here, right? I'll select it. That is where my document are and I can give it a name. So let's give it a different name, like I say private uh, say uh, document something like that right private document and i'll click on add so now it's going to create a, a collection that i can communicate with right perfect you can also specify the document size and then the prompt right these things will determine how fast or slow your prompt generation is going to be perfect then i'll come back here and i can now interact with it right. so how do i interact with it so i just click on this database icon here and i'll specify the document that i want to communicate with right the collection so i'll click on this private you can select double if you have a lot but i want to just work with the private document here and now i can just go back and say hello All right so this is the normal one so that is processing this is the large language model how can i help you then i can just say what is the difference between Mac and then DA system. Let's see if it will be able to give us an example. So now it's like just processing private documents, right? So that is where it is fetching the information from. Hopefully it's able to give us something good. It's more powerful if you have a very powerful model, right? Or large language model. So that now it's saying that Max MAC stands for mandatory access control, which means that only authorized users can access certain resources right so this is a very useful system so with local docs plugin you can be able to communicate with your private document with your copy document and i just given us the answer the nice thing is that also gives you the location of where it picked the information right the reference so if i click on this contest one then now it is telling me where it took it from right so this is where it's taking it from and if i go back to the next one it's giving me the exact place it picked the information from, right? And it's analyzed it and then generated this response, which is a very cool feature. Very nice, right? So you can say, can I ask again, what is DAC? So let's see. So this is processing. Anytime you see processing without the collection, that means it's picking from the large language model itself, not from the contest, right? Not from the private docs. Those ones will not have these reference right so then now it not give me the reference but if i pick something from 
the actual file it gives me the contest so let's try another one so i'll go back to the collection i'll pick the private books here it's about the nativity of jesus then i can just say so what is curious image so now it's going to process the books collection then fetch that information for us right it's taking some time so what is going to do is that it's just going to go to my private collection here via the local docs plugin fetch the information via the large language model using the retrieve generation augmentation approach then synthesize it and give us our result what it cannot yet do is summarization so you can't give it a test and tell it to summarize everything yet for now it cannot be done but hopefully in the future we'll be able to do that and now that's finished it's given us our result so the curious image of jesus was a popular religious icon in medieval europe that was depicted as a young man with long hair so now it's given us all the reference i click on this you can see the reference you can see i took it from wikipedia <laughs> you can see the same thing right that's a very nice system but that is how to use gpt for all to interact with your local private document so thank you for watching so the idea is that you just have to download your model go to your settings specify make sure that you have local docs plugin specify the collection you can remove and add more and then you can choose the particular collection that you want you can choose the two of them then interact with them so that's a very nice feature so thank you for watching see you another time and then stay blessed